Hello, hello everybody on Internet Land. This is Michael Nerve 2005, and we're live with absolutely no background music, which is freaking me the fuck out. <laughs> we're getting ready for some Metroid Dread. Ooh, spicy. I heard this game is hard, and I am scared. So, uh, let's go cry together. And hoping my roommates can't hear me, because I think they uh, are on a conference call with their work. Oof. <laughs> they know my schedule. And I'm late anyway. Alright, I wanted to bring us in from the beginning, though. Because I didn't know if there was going to be, like, a pre-game cut scene. You know, like the pre-start button screen. Ooh. Ooh. I'm digging the remaster of the Metroid theme. It's full of Ronus, too. Fucking, I can't believe COVID's still a thing. Can I say that on YouTube? I'm gonna get one of those, like, nasty fucking alerts on my channel. Like, they talked about the thing the government doesn't like. Because corporate America don't like it. Mmm, fake news. I just said the damn word, Jesus. It's not like I'm posting a hot take on my fake science. All right, let me get the timer started. Where'd, where'd the dog go? Doop, 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 doop. A doop, a doop, a doop, doop, doop. Do doop, a doop, doop. I want to let the music play, but I also kind of don't want to just sit here running my mouth. I'm legitimately just listening to the music. Fuck. You know what? We're going to get another shooter for that. Be right back. We're just going to get a head start on train right Because I am trash. And I know it. And that's why like three people love me. Is that they feel sorry for me? Libby, do you love me or feel sorry for me? It can be both. Alright, well it's not escalating to the part I want to hear, which is the part nobody remembers because nobody sets on these opening screens as long as I do. So we're here like, hmm. It's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. I wanna get to like the actual theme. Like, dude, you, you guys know what I mean. If you, if you said, oh no, why, that, that coffee was spicy, wasn't it? You weren't fucking lying in your text. All right, I gave up. Because I have studio lights. So let me look on your guys' screen because my brightness on my TV is a little louder too because of the way my setup is. So I'm going to do... There we go. That should be good. The brightness test on uh, the feedback monitor in OBS instead of uh, my TV. I'm trying to give it chances. There's a Bosch rush mode? That already tells me that they're going to try to Dark Souls my ass in this game. Nope. Wait. Wait a minute. I gotta Google a thing. I gotta Google a thing. Dread, dread rookie mode. I'm not familiar with Metroid series or those are showing processing. The antithesis of Metroid Dread. Okay, IGN, stop loading your bullshit. What's that? What is Dread mode? You know what? You know what we're gonna do? Let's do this on normal, and if I get stuck, I'll offline it to the spot I need to get to. Let's get brave. Let's let's see what what, what we're doing here. I'm fucking scared, like... When New Moon fucking says that this game is hard... ...and hasn't beat... Yeah, I'm playing on rookie mode. I know a gamer that is better and more qualified than me... ...says, this shit's rough. I'm running for the hills. Metroid. A virulent floating organism that... 
uh, that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now as extinct. They are now extinct. <laughs> and this is why I had to get through uh, fusion first. X Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their in inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they're believed to be extinct. So we're gonna go X heavy in this game. They're making it a point to remind us that fusion exists. Ew, it looks even grosser, better animated. Ugh. Maybe I'm gonna get that other shot. Come on, sugary fucking shots. Nope. That is a future Michael problem. I need to run under hot water. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X. Horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet and got infected and almost died. Hey, they're making it very well known that fusion happened. Which means the X are gonna be in this game. I got money. Oh, that suit looks so weird in this graphics. This animation style. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from the Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space laboratory's research station to investigate a distress signal. There, I battled many powerful X-forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X-Menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. That's two planets Samus has blown up! After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Called it! These little bastards are still around. And of course we're gonna get Metroids. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven... Emmy? I'm just gonna say Emmy. To investigate. Oh, them are weird looking. It's got a penis for a face. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field, uh, field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Is this like your new suit? What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Libby, 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 libby. I'll try this shit again. Mm, 
I want my alcohol. God damn it. I need to go back to just buying whiskey. Uh, well, this is quite the loading screen, Nintendo. It's thinking. It's thinking. It's thinkity thacketing. You beat me. Adam, you sound weird. <laughs> so I guess you just put more armor over your fusion suit. Does not seem appropriate. Wait, how many fucking dead people are in my ship now? Well, we still got Adam. Skadoosh! Confused? Why my why my ship blew? Why am I dead on the ground? Where's my spaceship? I have so many questions. Why is that not the fusion suit? Did I miss something. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is very low. Remote communication remains unstable. Try to connect to the facility's network. Oh, are we getting our excuse why I'm not OP anymore? Who the fuck are you? See, this is what happens when I play new games. I have just all the questions and I don't shut up. Are you Zodian? You look like you might be bird people. I thought y'all were fucking extinct. That yeah, looks like a Chozo in their power armor. And I already don't like it. going on. So I'm guessing that that's a minor upgrade to the fusion suit with a little more armor. Because now that I had the excuse for my shit to get taken away apparently happen, we're back to blue. Figuring out what buttons do. That's missiles. Okay, so this is gonna play like the remake of Metroid 2. Oh, you took all my shit away. Yeah, I think rookie mode was a good idea. Uh, zeal. Okay, we can do that. A 
Hey, I can still do wall. Ow! Little shit. Yeah, I have a feeling they, they used an upgraded version of the engine from uh, the 3DS Metroid 2 remake. I can aim, I swear. This feels very much like the remake. Okay, ammo's at max capacity. Got a slide. Alright, some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run into dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Fuck. Slide! What the dog doing? I definitely think I needed that shot. <laughs> I want to know how she got that new fucking power armor suit. Every other game, they explain this so shit. You've accessed a network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I liked my Adam voice better than this one. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You Called might it. Call it physical amnesia. They gotta give you an excuse to lose all your that shit. <laughs> I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. They're still fucking alive? I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The so it's a Metroid game. is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. Which we did legitimately fix by absorbing the SAX, but then I, I got choked by daddy and I came so hard I forgot how to do things. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your base. Alright, you Rusum. I hope you had fun. <laughs> One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. So we're bringing that shit back. At least it's not three rooms. It's just like, go talk to... to Digital at Daddy. And then... No. Can't open that yet. Oh, cute. Yeah, this mechanic. That I'm going to religiously forget how to use. That is like the one thing. That is the one mechanic I wish they didn't remember from the 3DS game. I shoot you in the butt! I don't think there's much for me to do over there. Don't worry, I'm gonna come get you a little bastard.
define uh, dudes in the burlesque show, like on stage or in the crowd? Watch out, Libby's being thirsty tonight. What the fuck is this? Well, that was a waste of my time. Motherfucker! You don't like seeing floppy dong flying in your face? Arteria? That's a cool name. What's the dog doing? Woot missiles. Now the question is, did I screw myself doing that? I must have done something right because we're going into cutscene mode. fuck am I playing? Oh, it's a penis face! And it don't look like it's working too well. Jesus! Enemy's attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult here. Making this a desperate maneuver. Okay, so we're a QTE game now. This is stupid. Ah, I got shit to do, dude. Like I said, I'm probably not going to be out and about until January. You know what? I need another drink after that. Alright, game, you've explained how these things suck, and how to not die. I don't like these things. Do I just have to run away from it? Okay. And no time to read the hint book. This is already oof. This is oofy. <laughs> no problem. Now I gotta do laundry and shit. I apparently gotta fucking... We're gonna be here all night. I'm 20 minutes in and I don't feel like I've played this game yet. You know what? Operation Run Like Hell. Jesus, Terminator! Uh... The fuck? Oh yeah, it's 10 years newer than any of them. This just came out like in 2022. 
Last Metroid game to come out was... Other M. Energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into Omega Cannon. Omega Blaster online. So I apparently got the world's dumbest version of the charge shot. Hey, what are you on about? No, I just got shit to do, dude. <laughs> I can kill him now. I'm happy. I could kill you. Ugh. I think it went over my head. This game's kind of already stressing me out, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh, the fuck. Fuck you, Metroid. Fuck you. You gave me a new toy and then you immediately take it away. I was having fun with that. Feeling like I had a charge cannon for a minute. So apparently I'm only going to get those when I see those Emmy units. What is this? What the fuck is this? There's a lot of Chozo statues. Oh, it's a save point. That is the fastest save point in Metroid history. That game was no. Nope. All right. Uh, blah 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 blah. Oh, it's a save station. That's where the dog go. Network station. So I guess I need to learn how to play a Metroid game. Oh, I'm scared and confused! And I still have a small wiener. Maybe I should be a male bur burlesque. I can go that way. Yeah, I guess I just need to go the other way. Ooh, this is gonna be fun! A Metroid game I haven't played a hundred times. I'm actually gonna get legitimately lost. Met Other M didn't count because it's trash. I'm dying. I'm standing by those words. Oh, this is where this pissed me out of. Oh, 
Well, that ain't where the dog gone. That ain't where the dog went. Fuck, where am I supposed to go? Go? Where am I supposed to go? My options are actually relatively limited. I was pretty stern about elevator go up. Oh, that I got a small pee pee. I should be in burlesque. That don't open. That don't open. Where, where, where'd the dog go? Oh, I see a spot. I see what I need to do. So, he's all the water out there, and then I can... Giving me... What the fuck is this? What in the aether is this shit? Haha, <laughs> nobody's gonna get that joke unless they played Metroid Prime 2. Well, there's a central unit there, which means I'm going to have to blow some shit up. I have to use my brain, and I don't... I, I don't like it. Thinking is not my strong suit. Ask any of my former employers. It's not my current, they haven't figured that out yet. What the fuck? Yeah, the amount of shit that I can't kill is getting old. Seize gamer girl feet. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Let me smell him, my lady. This is already fucking stressful. What is with all this instant death bullshit in my Metroid game? I don't like these things. Where'd the dog go? There the dog is. <laughs> no, you fuck right off. Well, I'm dead. Uh, what was all that bullshit that happened in the background? Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I do not like the ME units. Missies! Okay. Where the hell am I even going? Cool, I acquired it. Oh, well, we're going this way. Because I have a feeling I don't have what I need to deal with 
the sensor lock bullshit. All right, plug in so I can hear um, super robotic Daddy Adam. Any you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all enemy will be hostile. You think? Emmy, send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Great. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. So it didn't matter what difficulty I put this on, I'm gonna get just fist fucked. An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy zone exits. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the enemy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. Wow, Nintendo! This was your idea of fun? The enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures Hey, I'm putting 100%. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. I've done it a couple of times. Enemies are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Uh, I wanted to play Metroid, not Clock Tower. Your highest priority ah! zone should be simply to survive. Well, let's go ahead and do an episode cut. Do the savey save saves. Shit. I don't want to play hide and seek with the murder bots. I don't. I don't want to get the penis through my brain dome with their penis faces. But on that note, this is Michael Nerf 2005. I will see you guys next round. Stay tuned. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw today, feel free to click the random video YouTube has picked for you up in this corner. Also, don't forget to subscribe right there and hit that notification button. We'll be doing uploads as much as I can off of my Twitch channel. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.